Welcome back. And in this lesson we'll be installing the Digital Ocean Droplet, a virtual private server hosted by DigitalOcean. So first of all you need to go to digitalocean.com and register your free account. You may do it just by setting up your account or by using the referral link I will leave here in this lesson and you will get bonus 10 bucks for your needs so that you can you can use these funds to pay for your virtual servers so here's the pricing you can see that basic server costs ten dollars a month and usually I use this small server for five dollars a month Usually these small servers are not for production, but using uh, tips and tricks we will talk about later uh, how to configure not powerful servers. Uh, I found that you can use it even to host up to 10 clients. Okay, and here are the high volume plans. More powerful servers if you need them. Okay, so let us log in into my account. You can see I have two servers here already. I use them for my clients. And as you can tell, these are cheap servers, the cheapest ones DigitalOcean offers. Okay, we will press Create Droplet. Choose hostname for our server. You can type here a subdomain of your domain or just your domain you purchased earlier from GoDaddy, Name.com or other provider. We will choose this $5 a month server, choose the region, let it be New York, region 3. Actually some settings uh, depend on the region you select, so you need to check if you need, for example, backups or uh, IP version 6 um, settings, you need to check if they are available in your region. Okay. And now let us pick the image for our droplet. You have several options, even a WordPress option. It will be pre-installed with all the blows and whistles and uh, your WordPress will be ready to use. But we like to control everything. We will choose Debian, uh, 32 bits. We have not so much RAM and 512 megabytes of RAM. So we will choose 32 bits operating system. Okay, here you can add SSH keys. Uh, encrypted keys to use to log into your server, but let's go with the standard options without keys. It takes about a minute to create your new droplet. After the installation is complete, you will see this dashboard. Here you can power your server or on and off. You can also access the console. You can resize your virtual server or add more resources. You can see graphs with CPU load, RAM and network usage and much more. You can even delete your virtual server here. Okay, and after the automated setup is complete, DigitalOcean will send you an email with your server IP address, root password and other information. And one more thing, 
before or after the, the setup, you will need to configure your domain name DNS settings for the subdomain, which is a host name of your server, to point your droplets IP. So your subdomain needs to point to your droplets IP address. You need to go to Manage DNS section of the dashboard of your domain name provider and edit or create the so-called A record and make sure the hostname you assign to your server points to the IP address of the droplet you've just created.